Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. I want to thank everybody for viewing, liking, sharing, subscribing. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up on your way out as it truly does help the channel and others to see the video, get the messages. I want to remind everybody that it is a general reading. It's definitely not going to completely resonate for all of you, but it will for some of you. Those that it doesn't, take what does resonate, that's yours, and leave the rest behind. Um, don't forget to watch your Venus, your Moon, and your Rising as well, because those will help you with a bigger, more well-rounded view of the answer. Now, what we're doing today is what spirit wants you to heal or transform for soulmate union, okay? We're going to start with the soul's journey deck and that's going to give you a generalized idea of part of what you need to transform or heal i want to let you know that um, the decks are listed below as well as the extended link those of you that don't understand how to get to all of that click on the title of this video it'll drop down my description box and everything you need is there Oh my God, this is a theme for so many people, so many of the zodiacs. Abundance. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. Yes, you can. So this is all about you um, manifesting abundance into your life. This is why you're having to heal and transform something. Generally, the Motivation Manifesto deck is giving us a little bit further um, information on what it is you have to transform or heal. So we're going to get a card from the Motivation Manifesto deck. Okay, it says, we must mature and realize that freeing our mind of ancient hurts and opening once more to love shall give us access to divine strength. Wow. This is all about you letting go of the past. Any baggage you've got. Um, any of you that are shut off to love, that find yourself saying, nope, that's it, never again, especially to a certain person, Spirit's asking you to open once more to love because that's going to give you the access to the divine, the strength that, that is coming to you from the divine, right? Okay. Now we're going to get some Lightseer's Tarot cards. Okay. Your first card out is, yeah, see, this goes perfectly with that Motivation Manifesto card. This is all about heartache and, and heartbreak and separation and breakups and, I mean, look at this heart. It's strung up to the trees here and the trees are dead. Look at the surroundings where this girl is. It's so, so dark and, and it almost looks ancient, you know, like the, the Motivation Manifesto card talks about, but it's it's got two breaks in it. It's been stitched up. And she is screaming in pain. She has hung on to this pain so long and so strongly and is so um, in such a belief 
that love hurts. Look at the tattoo on her arm. She's actually had three swords tattooed on her arm. <laughs> okay, so you gotta let this go. This is ancient, absolutely ancient. The fact that she's got a three of swords tattooed on her arm, absolutely ancient. This has been around for a while, Capricorn. King of Cups and this, open up to love. He is all about love. He is a deep, deep, deep love of some kind. Either somebody has a deep love for you, you have a deep love for someone else. It's coming in or, or is trying to come in, but can't because some of you find yourself stuck in this, these past pains and hurts. Now this could be your person also, Capricorn. This could be um, a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer, male or female. But if it's not a person, look at, look at the rays of light coming from his heart chakra. This is all about you opening up once more to love. And that's going to give you access to the strength of, of spirit, your inner being, your higher self. Because you have a gift coming in. Page of Pentacles. This is something that's tangible. This is, um, it's not something you're imagining. It's not something you're trying to visualize. This is a gift. Either you've been gifted with something, you know, like a, a natural ability, or you're about to be gifted with something. Somebody wants to gift you. This is something that's going to make you happy. It's it's not going to be the same old, same old. So you got to get out of your head. You stop thinking about it. You've got to, you know, I find interesting that you've got two really good cards here. You've got the King of Hearts and the Page of Pentacles. Flanking the two good cards, you've got the Three of Swords and the Nine of Swords. It's all in your head, so to speak. You keep reliving it in your head. You gotta let that go. If you wanna move forward to abundance and love, you've gotta let that go. This is your overall energy with all of this information here, the Two of Pentacles. Everything's up in the air. This is, for me, this is a feeling of overwhelmment. It's about having so much going on, <laughs> probably mentally, there's just so much in your head that you can't, you just can't, you can't, what's the word I'm looking for, spirit? Give me the word, help me out here. Um, you just can't grasp anything right now. It's, it's just, I, I got to tell you, the energy that they're making me feel is very, very heavy. So there's a lot of you out there that are going through this right now and you're feeling very heavy and that's the negative that's these two cards right here these two situations negative is a very very heavy energy positive energy when when we're in positivity mode we feel super light okay we are going to move on to Gaia Oracle So you, you've already figured this out. I know you have. I'm just going to <laughs> confirm it for you. This is what you need to heal and transform in order to have that soulmate union. Twin flame, soulmate, whatever you want to call it. Your eternal soulmate. You can't come together until you let go of the past hurts and pains. The nine of swords is just reliving something over and over and over again in our heads. And we just, we keep bringing the past into our present. And when it's in our present and we keep going over it, it becomes our future. Because you're going to think about it again tomorrow. Okay. Liberation. Breaking free from a negative attachment. Yeah. 
That's exactly it. Now this sits on top of the Three of Swords and the King of Cups. It's card number 25, breaks down to a seven. That is all about divine. Seven is a very, very divine number in my book. Divine intervention, divine guidance. Spirit wants to liberate you, but the only way you can be liberated is to let go of the pain and open yourself up to love again. Ooh, enchanted forest. Mystery, magic, excitement. And I want to point out that there's all these hearts on this card, and there's a full moon. The full moon in May is, I believe, the 26th of May. Don't quote me. I'm doing the new moon readings next week, so I'll know then. Number 27 breaks down to a nine. It's about coming to a completion, tying up loose ends, getting ready for the new, because this sits on the King of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. So this is all about that new love, being ready for new love, because there's a gift, a gift of of love in one way or another is on its way to you. Number 43 breaks down to another seven. Intuitive communication, silent whispers of the heart. That's intuitive communication. Spirit will speak to you in whispers. That's why you've got to quiet your mind or you're not going to hear it. Sits on top of the page of pentacles and the nine of swords. The gift is coming in, but you can't hear. You can't hear that it's on its way and you can't hear any messages or guidance that's going to move you in the right direction because it's loud. I feel like it's so loud inside your head. Okay, now what, angels? Okay. Whispers of love. down to an 11. That is a soul path number. Honesty is essential. Speak with love and truth. And that sits on the liberation card and the enchanted forest. So you will be liberated and you will be able to find that magic and that excitement in your life. Get honest with yourself. I mean with everybody but I feel like you, you really need to get honest with yourself. And you need to look at things from a place of love rather than fear. I don't know if I showed this to you. I think I did, but here you go again. Okay. Oh, man. It's all about you getting to that love, the heart of the matter. There is more going on than meets the eye. Card number 22. Okay, I want to point something out here. This first card is 38, breaks down to an 11. You do not break down any further these, um, these numbers, 11, 22, 33, 44. We don't break those down, okay? They are Ascended Masters numbers. But this one, 11, is also a soul path number. 22 is an Ascended Masters number. But I want to point out that it sits right beside the 11. 11, 22. 11, 22, I've been told by my guides, is things are about to move at twice the speed. So when you can get clear on this and you can let go of the old, the heartache and the pain and, and constantly overthinking it, Things are going to start moving like that. And you're going to move in that direction that you want to move in and have the abundance. Abundance isn't just about finances either. It's um, everything. Finances, love, happiness, joy, all of it. 
cards. Okay, now we're going to get an Island Time Wellness card. Hmm. This is where it came from. I'm, I'm feeling stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. Somebody hit you hard, Capricorn. I don't know who this was. I don't know how long ago it was. But this is what you're needing to let go of. You gotta let this go. That's the only way you're gonna move toward this abundance. See, spirit is trying to gift you with abundance. I want to point out, look at this wheel, how close it is to this wheel. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Different colors, but it's similar in looks. Spirit is trying to gift you with abundance on every level, but also letting you know where you have to make the changes in order for that to come through, right? Okay, now we're going to get a Just Ask Oracle card. Ooh, okay, let's do this again. so close persevere keep moving forward keep doing the work whatever it is you're doing keep doing it because it's taking you there whatever work you're doing whatever shadow work you're doing whatever you know meditating going for walks in nature whatever it is you're doing just controlling your thoughts and your feelings that'll do it too don't allow those negative thoughts and feelings anywhere near you I'm just going through the motions in case Spirit wants another card. Wait for the right time. My stomach is growling again, as usual. It doesn't seem to matter what time of day I do these readings. I sit down to read and it just starts growling, so please ignore it. Okay, I feel like this isn't for you. This is spirit. Spirit is waiting for the right time. You are so close to getting yourself where you need to be. You get like, it feels like you've got just one more step to take here. And spirit is waiting for you to get there. And then this is just going to happen like that. Okay, now we're going to get heal yourself card. number four which is all about foundations and stability and apparently sexuality you know it's interesting I'm getting two scenarios here with this card I'm getting one where um, and it, it could just be one person it could be a small number of people it's that somebody I put this somebody isn't being honest about their their sexuality uh, their choice they're hiding the truth about about their preference their their sexual preference you need to you need to be honest you need to you need to come clean 
you will never be happy you will never you've got to be your true authentic self or you will never be happy you won't have access to the abundance because you're always going to be pinched off from your inner guidance system until you can fully be you the second scenario i'm getting is some of you are are just not feeling very um I guess, I guess when it comes down to it, the, the, the big general picture is not feeling good enough. You're not feeling sexy. You're not feeling beautiful. You're not feeling um, attractive. Get a grip on that because you are beautiful as you are, Capricorn. You never have to change a thing for anyone. No one. Okay, now we're going to get... A card from the Priestess of Light Oracle. And this is a new deck for me, and it's absolutely beautiful. Grateful Optimism joyous view of the future card number 51 breaks down to a six which is all about love again you, <laughs> your whole reading here basically is about getting to that place of love you know being love feeling love wanting love being open to love being ready for love now i am going to read it from the book for you Okay, it says, The priestess of the cranes looks joyously upon the world. Light radiates from her brow chakra, projecting thoughts of great hope and optimism. Her heart center vibrates with feelings of grace and appreciation. Her hands are held in a mudra, a prayerful position at her third chakra where life force energy is generated. I don't know if you can see that. I think I got it too close. There you go. This card calls you to reignite your enthusiasm for your life, to look around and find bright sparks of present joy to kindle the flames of future hope. One crane faces left, which is the past, while the other, looking right, faces the future. This is a reminder that your appreciation for the present is inextricably connected to your optimism for the future and to dreams, sorry, and to the dreams and desires you will achieve. After all, it is difficult to manifest happy results from ongoing dissatisfaction. Yes, absolutely. As you're in that three of swords and the nine of swords, it's impossible to draw the abundance to you. The energetic link between gratitude, optimism, and manifestation is an undeniable force. The gratitude referenced in this card is not the same as card 50, which encourages a profound recognition of your very value. This appreciation is more lighthearted, a blissful sighting of all the little experiences that bring joy to your life. Once you frame more happy perceptions of the past and present, you can look to the future with equally joyous expectations. Your grateful optimism will project such vibrant visions of the future that the universe will be compelled to respond. Oh my goodness, that's exactly it. It's all about having access to divine strength. That's what that talks about. Opening yourself up to love so that you can have access to the divine strength which is in turn going to gift you with the abundance. Okay. I want to ask your guides and spirit what it is that you can do, be, think, and or feel to, to get through this, to heal it, transform it, and get to that place of drawing things to you that are they're manifested. They're already manifested. They're waiting for you to be a match to them energe energetically. That's, that's it. 
And that's why it happens fast. Once you are a match energetically to what you've already manifested out there, boom, it's in your lap. So if you want to know, we're going to do that in the extended version, okay? So the link will be down below. Like I said, click on the title of this video, drop down my description box. The link is there and so is the listing of the decks that I used, okay? Those of you going over, I will see you over there. Those of you that are not, I love you guys and I will see you next time.